I grew up in the city of Tacoma, and uh, when I was in school, like I never thought about being a teacher. And it's funny, because when I encountered my old teachers, they're always shocked that I became a teacher. What I decided to do when I decided to become a teacher was I wanted to invest in the community that I grew up in. And so I teach on the east side of Tacoma, uh, where my wife and I have decided to buy a house. If you're from Tacoma, like you know the story about the east side, like if the east side's gonna be a better place, it's gonna be because of Lincoln High School. And so like if you're a teacher and you want a challenge, like what better challenge is there than like saving a city? As somebody who kind of slid through high school, uh, my philosophy is really about not letting kids slide through high school. I arrived at Pierce College a 17-year-old skinny kid and I left a man. My first like real job was at UPS and I got that at a hiring fair uh, at Pierce College. Uh, I signed up for my first credit card in the lobby was an Amex card. I was a reservist and so I was able to fund most of my education through help from the Veterans Affairs Office. When I got to college, I, I struggled a little bit to find my footing. Uh, but I had a couple of professors who were really, really uh, amazing to me and reached out to me and engaged me. Professor Simpson had this Vietnam War as a study in American history class, and it was one of the most phenomenal learning experiences I've ever had. I had a professor named Margaret Payne, who I took for, I think, three different English classes, and uh, she taught me how to write. And today as an adult, I'm a really good writer, and it's thanks to her. Like, I can't think of another teacher who was more influential on my, my writing than her. So last spring, I won the Milken Foundation's National Teacher Award. And so the Milken Award is an award that's given to roughly 30 teachers in the country each year. Just a delight to be at Lincoln High with all of you today for such a great event. And I was the only winner in Washington State, and it was absolutely insane. Mr. Nathan Gibbs Bowling. We had a giant assembly, and I had no idea that the award was coming and what this assembly was about. Uh, we were told, the entire staff was told the assembly was about our graduation rate. I went down to the assembly, and uh, I was standing there, and you know, as the assembly progressed, I was like, this is about graduation rates. And then they announced that they were giving a teaching award to somebody. I was like, that's cool. Somebody on the staff is getting an award. And like, I, I realized that day that I'd be the worst detective ever. Like, I didn't see it coming at all. And it wasn't until Patty Murray was like describing my classroom and she was like, he does this and this. And I was like, I do, th oh goodness. And like the students mobbed me and it was an incredible experience. I think Pierce College does a really good job of engaging students. And there's something about the campus, the campus has a really great feel to it. Like whenever I walk onto that campus, even as an alum, if I'm going back for an event, like it feels really welcoming. And like not all places feel that way. I, I've never had a bad experience on the Pierce campus. And it just, I, I know that the teachers and the staff at Pierce College care about students uh, in the same way I do. And so when I send my kids there, I know they're being taken care of.